Hi, I'm Mario Pokemon Shadow. And I'm Toy Imahara here, and uh, we're going to go into the gym because we did what we said we were going to do off screen, and we got uh, the dude back in the gym. And we got massive glare. Uh, so we'll try and fix that. So we're switching to Twiggy out front because that is a much, much better idea for this gym because this is a rock type gym. And if you're clever, you can notice that. If you go this way, you can skip both of the trainers that are in this gym. But of course, we like experience and money, so we're going to battle them anyways. We just wanted to note that for y'all. Because there's always a way like that in most source gyms. I don't understand why, but there usually is. Yeah. So after this gym, Twiggy's gonna be frickin' op -ed. So we'll probably try and use Simba as much as we can. That was black there for a moment. So yeah, if you have the grass type or water type starter, this gym's gonna be no problem for you. Twiggy Land Razor Leaf! Yay! Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Moving on forward. Moving on up to the east side. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's try our new move. Two dudes. I'm so scared. Freaking adorable! Try a new move! New move looks awesome! Nope! And it's dead. Big rock snake, you just died to a cute little grass turtle. How do you feel? And Twiggy's level 14. As we said, he's gonna be OP'd. So blah blah blah. Okay. And uh, we really don't need to heal. Uh, before any gym leader, I usually advise, you know, saving and healing. Well, healing then saving, but we're just going to go ahead and save here. In case things don't go the way I think they're going to go, and we're just going to dominate this guy. So, here we go. Welcome, this is the o Orberg Pokemon Gym. I'm Rort, the gym leader. I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with rock type Pokemon. Well, I like rock types too. They're pretty cool. As a gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer. And I'll need to see the toughness of the Pokemon that battle with you. So here we go. First gym trainer, Rourke. Hi, Xanamon, how are you? How have you been doing? Good. Thanks. We're taking on our first gym trainer. Of what? Uh, the Pearl no. LP. And we're kicking his butt with Twiggy. The grass type. Um, well, that's good. 
And we're actually going to get our own rock type, but that will be until a little later. Uh, thanks for letting me use your Yep. And Twiggy's going to keep battling here because he's awesome. This means don't switch out your Pokemon. Because it's going to hurt if you do. It gets more annoying later when they actually have hyper potions and full stores and all that good stuff. Instead of just... Potions. <laughs> and the onyx goes down. So yeah, Twiggy's dominating here. Twiggy grew to level 15. Amazing. Sending Kranidos. Now this guy... It's a toughie. Yeah. Don't underestimate him. Don't you need to underestimate uh... Onyx and Geodude, but don't underestimate this one. This one is a little... Bit oh. different. <laughs> so we're gonna raise relief them. Hooray! We get it when we need it. Putting the quick law on Twiggy works. Kill it. Dang it, not quite. Use headbutt, okay. Mmm. Being somewhat defensive works in my favor. Absorb. Yay, we get it again. We get it again. We got it again. Okay. We're going to use Absorb to get some HP here. And... We win! Woo! Yay! We beat our first gym leader. I feel proud of ourselves. And I just beat my last gym leader. So yay! Alright, this is embarrassing. I went and lost to a trainer who didn't have a single gym badge. Yeah, that's, so? That's because you're the first gym leader. So that's tough. You were strong and I was weak. That's all there is. According to Pokemon League rules, I have to give you our gym badge since you've beaten me, the leader. Here's your official Pokemon League Cole badge. We received the coal badge. Ba -da! Having the coal badge means your Pokemon can now use the hidden machine Rock Smash outside of battle. Awesome that you take this too. And we have a team TM76. This is Stealth Rock. I don't know if we're going to use it yet or not, but we're going to keep it for now. Uh, basically, if you use it, if people switch out their Pokemon, they're going to get hurt. So that's kind of what it does. So now we do what we always do after gym, and we go heal! Because we have, we're at nine minutes. Yeah, we're going to heal up and stock up on some items. And of course we're going to switch out to uh, Simba here, because he could use some levels. Twiggy is overpowered now, and does not need levels for quite a while. Awesome. And I already know what we're going to be doing in the next episode if we don't go ahead and do it in this one. So, Finding uh, the glorious um, underground. Well, maybe, because uh, that's going to be where we get part of our team. This is going to be very important to us later, by the way. This is the museum, and if you talk to this dude right here, if you have a fossil, he will resurrect it for you, and all you have to do is leave and come back, and he'll have it ready for you. And uh, we're going to be utilizing this. Trust us. Alright, so what we want to do now is find the dang Pokemart. It's not that way, is it? I'm directionally challenged, people. 
Uh, Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon. There you are. So let's go ahead and buy. And see here. How many potions do we have? We have 10. That's pretty good. Let's start buying super potions. That sounds like a brilliant idea. Yes, I do. I have 500. Well, let's see if there's... There's repels! Woo! I can get one of those! Yay! Oh, ah, love you, repels. Anything else I may do for you? Let's see what we can sell. Stealth Rock I want to keep for now. Keep that. Keep that until I get dig. Amazing! We finished that up. Alright, well, I've decided that in the next episode, we are going to explore the Orber Gate after running into Barry. Stop! So you got the gym badge, huh? It turns the city is the next place with the gym that gives away badges, right? So yeah, I went to Road 207, but you can't go there without a uh, bicycle. I'm in my team battle, and I'm in the muck, so it wasn't a waste. So, I'm going back to Jubilee City. Next up, the Eternal Gym Badge! Take it to 10 seconds before I desk. Nine. Wow, well, who's got that account? <laughs> Alright, well, he's hyperactive. I must say that was pretty funny. Yes, yeah, so in the next episode, we are going to explore the Orberg Gate and potentially get something that's going to be very useful to us. And sorry if this part's been a little blurry, but we've really been trying to find the best angle to film these videos at. So. And we're going to be off on our way to Eternity City. But before we do that, I'm going to show you what uh, Barry there was talking about. Crap, 207. Go! Yeah. So this is what Barry was talking about, Route 207. This is the area where you need a bike if you want to go to Eternity City. But also up here, it's there is an shiny. item! We found a Pokeball for free. I am now in the middle of the street. <laughs> yep. And see if there's an item here. We did. We found another Pokeball for free. So look at that. They gave us two Pokeballs for free. Amazing. So yeah. Uh, we will see y'all in the next episode where we are going to explore the Orberg Gate and hopefully get a very, very useful TM if it is where I think it is. So see y'all in part eight. Bye. Bye.